So again, what are some of these advantages of having more cameras, three or more? You know, uh, you can achieve definitely a more professional look, maintain audience interest by, you know, switching in and out, so on and so forth. Uh, you can help your audience focus on points of interest, like kind of what we're doing right now with the screen. And you could have a backup camera in case, you know, one, you know, craps the bed or something like that. Bam, look, you still have two cameras working. It's not the end of the world. And it also allows you to access more options to reintroduce and repackage, you know, production in post. You have more options. They were there. So if something bad happens live, like it's happened with us a few times, having multiple cameras has allowed us to go back in and fix it. Baseball is tricky. Uh, I've only ever done a few of these, and I can tell you that these are the biggest pains in the butts that I've had to deal with, you know, setting up in terms of live streaming. So this one, you'll want camera one to be behind the catcher. That's your wide to capture as much information as possible on one screen at one time. Camera two is behind first base to get one side of the, uh, the field, and then camera three is behind third base to catch the other. Now, your bonus camera, that, you could have that camera perhaps stationed in center field, uh, somewhere in the back. But something to really point out is kind of like basketball, and, and, you know, what I just listed for outside. First base camera gets, you know, third base and crowd reactions, so on and so forth. The third base one focuses on, you know, first base. So that kind of sounds confusing, so I'll pull up the diagram and I'll show you right now. So, camera one, right here. Gets as much information as possible. That is your wide, okay? Camera two, stationed behind first base. All right. Catches that side of the field. Focuses over here. Camera three, that's stationed behind third base. Capturing all of that. Focusing over here. And then your bonus cam, that's just another angle to capture perhaps a reverse. And again, that's very subjective. That depends on where you're going and so on and so forth. But it will add production value. Again, here's one from Sling Studio. Pretty basic. And again, that's all going to be linked in the blog post after for you to check out. That's all readily available. So here's where I was talking about tech stuff before that. Here's where it really comes into play. Cables are an issue. They, flat out, they are an issue. In fact, I'm actually going to recommend mostly the Sling Studio. It's a great solution because you can do everything wirelessly. The uh, Sling Studio, as you can see right here, is pretty small, very simple, but yet you can do pretty much everything wirelessly. Uh, you know, hook up cameras with the camera link, which you can hook up cameras with your camera links, which are right here. Again, very small, but that allows you to hook up all of your your cameras wirelessly and connect them to your Sling Studio. The Teradek Bolts will actually help you out quite a bit in terms of this and PTZ Optics is actually, um, they're releasing a, their wireless cable. That hasn't been released yet and we're looking forward to really playing with that, but that's coming up soon.